All right, welcome to Byfield for tonight's matchup between the Vikings and the Vikings. I'm Patrick Heffernan. And I'm Owen Heffernan. And Triton is hosting Rockport tonight, a team that uh, Triton has had some great success against over the years, but we'll see what happens tonight. Owen, you remember playing this team? Uh, I do. They have a lot of seniors this year. They're a senior-heavy class, um, so there's a lot of familiar faces out there, including number 21, um, who contributes a lot to their height. Yeah, they're a big team. They are definitely tall. But we're going to start with the ball. Bring it up and swinging out to McKenzie off on the right. And he's going to bring it back up to Odoi up at the top. He's going to drive. Look underneath. He's not going to hit Wilkinson. It's going to be back out to Odoi. Odoi looking, looking, looking. He's got nothing to McKenzie. McKenzie's going to take the little bunny in the middle and not hit it. Going to be out of bounds, though, on stays, Rockport. Stays, stays. So the, uh, the offense this year has been different. we got a new head coach, uh, Coach Coach Surrender, uh, who spent last year uh, as an assistant coach for Coach Clay in Newburyport. Uh, but before that, he was here, and actually you played for him, right, I Owen? I did. I did play for Coach Surrender. A bunch of these kids did out here, too. I think four of the seniors played for Surrender back in the day. So, And there's second shot of the night, and that's an air ball. It's not going to connect. Rockport's going to take their first possession, bringing it down. They, they've got a, a starting five that's all captains. Interesting way to run a starting five. Never heard of five captains before, but all right. Looking up top, looking around the wing. They haven't got anything quite going yet. He's going to take a long shot, but no, he isn't. He's going to kick it out. No, he isn't. They're just going to keep swinging it around. They haven't been able to penetrate yet. It's good defense by Tamino. And that's going to be the second air ball of the night. Somehow stays white. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that happened. But that's all right. All right, so Tamino to inbound to Odoi. Rockport with an early press. Looks like a 1-2-2. Two, two. And looks like Triton just beat it pretty easily. McKenzie's going to get the ball. You're right, he had him behind it. You didn't see him, though. But diving all over the floor. Good hustle, good hustle. That's what we like to see early. And so, Is that going to be a jump ball? How are they calling that? They're calling a foul so. on somebody? Yeah. All right, here we go. Rockport's second possession. Made us inbounding it. Who's number three? Mendoza. Nope, he's going to inbound it to 21. You said you recognize that kid from last year. Yeah, huh? he went up against uh, Jared Drew in last year. That was, yeah. the, that was the matchup. Yeah, he's big. He's bigger than uh, Max, so he's definitely got the height. Mm -hmm. So Knowlton at the top looks underneath to Rawson. Rawson back out to Knowlton for a long Ooh. shot. We still don't have a basket yet a minute into this game. Outlet pass to Tamino. Tamino's looking for some help, finds it in Odoi. Odoi almost loses a handle. He's got nowhere to go with it. Nobody's cutting. Nobody's moving. He finally finds Tamino. Mason Tamino. and Jesse seem to Seem to be lurking under the basket, but we can't seem to. F there we go. And there we go. Kicking it out, but it's not there yet. It it's back need. around. Odoi for a three, and that's going to tip out. But we're going to keep possession stays this way. Stays white. Looks white. like it stays white. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so this is the first home game we've been able to broadcast this year, but the uh, the Vikings are already 3 and 2. They got two wins on the road, one win here at home. Kicks it out. Looks. Shoots and it definitely fouled, but somehow now called Odoi with a huge board. board. Odoi. Tried to go back up with it and couldn't. Almost walked. Yeah, he did. So you're right. Wilkinson and Farrick have been playing underneath a lot, mm -hmm. but they're just not getting him the ball yet. It seems to be like a one, one, three, one with Max in the middle, but they can't seem to get it past the size of Rockport right now. And Rockport very but easily the beats the best. press, and finally first the first best, bucket of the game. So we have some stats help from Morgan Hall tonight. She's finally got something to write down. Somebody scored a bucket, and there we go. Tamino looks like he was going to take it. Back to Odoi up top. You're right. I'm not quite sure what the offenses are running, but it's block shot. not generating enough. There's a block, and that was uh, Wilkinson getting blocked. Looking inside to your guy, Knowlton. He's going up against Max. Good turnaround. Delicious. So Coach Surrender said before this game he's a little worried about their size. It's been both of their big boys that have gotten their baskets so far tonight. And we haven't quite been able to get a good one off. There's a good shot in and out. Second time tonight. It's already like three or four shots from that wing for the Vikings, for the Triton Rock, Vikings. Rock, yeah, from the Vikings. It's going to be that we're going to be seeing all night from the Vikings. So Rockport swinging around the outside, looking takes a deep three and actually almost hit that. That wasn't a bad shot. But here comes Odoi again. He's going to go the lane. Nope, he's going to find Max. Strong move by Max, and he gets hammered by 55. Let's keep a track of how many fouls 55 has, because something tells me he's going to get quite a few tonight. So uh, Max is going to go to the line. They had a good game against Newburyport the other night uh, during the, the Christmas tournament. 
Um, they played well. They kept in it for most of the game. But uh, Newburyport pulled away really in the third quarter and then just unstoppable in the fourth. They were at their home court, and they seemed yeah. to have a lot of the momentum with them. They had a few more fans. We didn't have That's exactly true. a huge. Although the fan They're section is bigger than it looked before. That is true. Before the game. There we go. First points on the board. It's right now. It's compact. Two to four. Slow start to this game. We're about four minutes in. We haven't yet got to double digits. Good, good push off. Good, good defense by, by uh, you're right, by Wilkinson. Good push off by that kid, too. Good nice board. board by Overball. Smallest kid on the court just got a big rebound. They've got Bledsoe in the game now. Max into the lane again. Looked good, but it did fall. So they brought in uh, they brought in a little bit of speed in, in Bledsoe and, and um, Overball. But they can't seem to stop him on the defensive end. Six to two now. Here's Overball kicking it out to Bledsoe. Back to Overball. He's got to hit those. That's his shot, those threes. Good move. Good finish. Great Good move finish. to the basket. Great move to the basket. Good pass, too. They keep getting that pass there, but they haven't been able to convert. Wilkinson didn't start last year on varsity, did he? Uh, not. Not, no, he didn't start every game. I think he started maybe one game. He did, all right. Uh, he look, he sort looks of good. But he's a junior, right? Uh, he is a so. uh, junior, yes. Three-pointer from Rockburn. They have an early 9-4 to four lead with three minutes and a half left in this first quarter. Max with a good head fake and a good drive, a little Euro step, but they're going to call it a travel. Ah, they look pretty good to me. They look good to me, too. Yeah. You don't get away with a lot of Euro steps in high school, unfortunately. No, you don't. Um, you don't get away with much in high school. <laughs> I saw traveling called in the NBA a couple times, though. You never know. And that was a carry right there, but it didn't get called. And that's definitely a foul. Oh, no, there's the carry. All right, excellent. Excellent. We'll take it as right, yeah. Nice, good defense by Overball to, Overball to force that. All right, Trenton's got a light of fire here, 4-9. to nine. They need to get some baskets going. TJ with the looks, ball. but they just can't see the finish. Get that past the corner. There's Bletza in his spot, but he's got somebody on him right away. Overball is going to take the three instead, and he's going to hit it. Boom, baby. Pressure defense from Triton, just backing it up to half court, though. Content to let him have that half court play. Up to the top. He's looking, he's looking, he's got nothing. He's got to swing it back out to the guard outside the three point line. Taking a pick to his right, but he goes, tries to go up against O'Doy. That's not going to work. Solid defense right there. Another yep, and another carry. Same kid. That's two carries. That's fantastic. Get into that kid's head. Here he comes. Yeah. Yeah, and he's okay. coming out. And now Doring comes in the game, taking over from Max. So Schrender is definitely going small right now. But he's still got. Um, no, who's he got from the start? Other than Wilkinson, nobody else from and Odoi, I guess. And they break the press. Odoi back to Wilkinson, across to Overbaugh. Overball is looking for Bledsoe, but he's not going to hit him. Doring's right on that block underneath, but they're not going to him. Now they are. He's a shooter, that kid, and he Bang. nails it. And he nails it. Good kid, good shot, great play. They got it. They're out, I don't, of the train's out of the press now. And it now it's 9-9, nine nine, just like that. So we called for a little more offense. We got some two and a half minutes left in this first quarter. I think with Penetrations. the Oh, there we go. Good steal. I was saying, I think with the small lineup, they go into a press, but they pulled out of it. Oh, Doy hits the wall hard. He did hit the wall hard. I don't know how there wasn't a foul anywhere down there. He's going to come in. Good little move. Oh, big Lord. Huge block. Fantastic by Bledsoe on that. Wow. A kid 55 is lucky he didn't get called with a charge on that, the way he went up with the ball. So Doy takes a seat after running into the wall, and that's got to hurt a little bit. He was hurt during the football season. They definitely can't afford to have him hurt again. Great There's inbound play. Rock that's the size you can't. Play. You're not going to be able to stop that. They're going right past the press, though. It's not holding Triton up at all. Overball up top. Looks for Tamino. Tamino is going to swing it to the corner. Bletza, there's his three, and that's in and out. Can't get the rebound. Going to have to have Max banging on those boards if we're going to get something mm -hmm. tonight. Rockport now with a two-point lead, minute and a half left. They swing it out, long three-pointer. It's going to be a little short, but Doring didn't box out, so 12 ended up with the ball again. There's another three. Again, it misses. Over the Definitely back. over the. Oh, the calling jump ball. Another jump ball. Again, that size, it's going to kill you. So Rockport is staying in the press. Nope, they're dropping out of it now. I think they figured out that wasn't such a great idea. There's Doring again. Took a look. Decides to go back to Overball up top. 
Overball is going to swing it around again. They got to hit Tamino. Max is underneath and open, but they can't get it to him. They finally do, but he's outside the three-point line. Long swing to Overball with 11 seconds on the shot clock, and he's going to go up. Good take. Good oh. finish. That kid is that kid is something else. He really is. I mean, I know uh, he played a lot last year, he right? Did. He yeah. did play a lot. Yeah, he he's, is. He was the starting point guard. Yeah, last he year. is. So he is strong. Easy. That kid. Here comes Tamino. He's got the wheels. He's just going to go right down Good hand pass. into Max. Good Beautiful finish. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. 13-11. Triton takes a lead. That's what I they think. Need to do I think their first game. lead of the night at 13-11 with just under a minute to play in the game. And that's exactly what they need to do. You're right. With a lineup like this, you got to run them out of the 55 gym. 55 with a, an interesting shot from the T. Follow up. Nobody inside. Nobody inside boxing out. They're going to give that up all night. Back into the press. They can't really decide here if they want to press or not. Tamino now needing some help. Goes back to overball. They get time to get it over. There's Max. He's going to drive. Nope. Going to kick it back out. Doring with it. Looks around. Long floating pass to overball. Overball still looking at what to do with it. Nine seconds left on the clock and ten seconds left on the game. Doring, somebody's got to take a shot. Two, he's got to shoot it. Oh. And <laughs> pure. Oh, that was fantastic. I think Trite was actually walking off the floor. They thought it was the, the, the horn had already sounded. So Triton ends up with a 16-13 lead after one. And our stats, uh, Morgan Hall's giving us something on the stats. Not sure what yet. It feels like everybody on Triton has had a basket so far. Um, I know that's actually not the case, but it definitely feels like everyone has scored. I know we've seen TJ score. I know we've seen Doring score. I know Max has scored. Uh, I don't think Tamino has, and I don't think Odoi has, but otherwise it looks like everybody else is, is hitting tonight. TJ already has eight points in the first quarter, which is good to see. Overball has eight out of their 15. Already, yeah. And they're calling it only 15. You know, it was 16. I think it, maybe his foot was on the line saying not a three-pointer. That was a great play, though, and uh, good for him for keeping his composure when it was, it was getting a little no crazy. Kidding. So, like we said, three and two, Triton, uh, the one and four Rockport coming in tonight. Um, Rockport has not had a great season, although they beat Linfield. It's a bit of a shocker. Really? Um, but they've got losses to Bishop Fenwick, Newburyport, Ipswich, and Hamilton Wenham, sort of the, the who's who of uh, Cape Ann basketball these days. Uh, Triton's wins were against Saugus, Masco, and a, a school I've never heard of, Madignon? I don't know, never somewhere in Cambridge. So they, they got three wins, though, on the year. Uh, and then two losses, one that we saw at Georgetown, I'm um, sorry, at um, Newburyport. Um, and they've lost to Georgetown as well. Their next game is North Reading. I know, I know North Reading has always been a physical team. Yep, they've always um, been a big team, too. Always been a big team. They're only one in three this year, so it's possible that they've also had a class that's graduated out. They don't have the same size or strength they had in the past, but we'll find out on Friday. So here comes Rockport, swinging it up to 21, looking inside. They're definitely Good just going to use their size oh, as yeah. much as they can. A beautiful turnaround move by that kid. Good block. Excellent block by Bletsa on that, actually. Got number 55. He's got the height on him and the size on him, but he was still able to get off a block. It's good playing. Max with good, solid defense inside. Bank shot's not going to go. 55 comes over the back. If you don't box him out, you're not going to get him out of there. So Tamino now driving, looking. Swings it back up to Overball. Overball to McKinsey. Max swings it out. There's Bledsoe. Decides not to go, and he's going to have to kick it out. There's Tamino with a shot, and it's an air ball. Not the best shot selection there. Great defense by Overball. Just keeping that kid, giving him no options. They're going to keep pounding the ball inside. Good and box that's out. a good box out by Overball. Have yourself a night. So TJ was just playing defense outside the three-point line, and then he just played off or just played, got the offense or the defensive rebound inside too. Beautiful play. Tamino with another shot. Got to get warmed up. It's not going to fall. They double team and try and trap. Long pass. He's outside the three-point line with it. Looks like he doesn't want to go anywhere. Number three now, our carry, again. our carry guy with the elbow, double teamed. And he almost he almost comes up with a rebound after getting double teamed. Great play, though. Great defense. <clears throat> Tamino now swings it to McKenzie. McKenzie for a three. There we go. Trading offense is starting to find for him. Just the post Rockport, beautiful defense. play down the lane. That's that's pretty there's decent not much, basketball there's though. Not you can do about great that. great passing and uh, and just great play inside. So out to McKenzie, looks at it. Bledsoe looks at it. 
They keep Doring down there on the block, swinging, swinging him outside. The ball's still moving around. All the Triton players outside the three-point line until Max finally loses it, but gets it back to, McKin or to Mino. Bledsoe with a long three, and it's off. Great move by Tomino. Somehow great. gets a shot off. Oh, Won't quite Lord. fall. Doring with a great board. Back up and foul. Crowd's coming alive for that. you got to like offensive rebounds. So as a player, which did you which did you enjoy more, getting an offensive rebound or taking a charge? Well, an offensive rebound didn't hurt as much as a charge, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, um, it depends on who's running into you, I suppose. But under, yeah, under Clay, Clay was definitely a uh, – he loved to see a, uh, a good charge taken, so that was definitely – That got him that, fired that up. That got yeah. him fired up, got yeah. the team fired up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'd, I'd say an offensive rebound does not hurt as much as a charge, especially yeah. when it's from someone like a Liam Spillane or yes. Will Parsons. Yes, yep, yep, or a Will Parsons. Will like Parsons that. had some size, no <laughs> question. All right, here we go. So we got uh, back to something that like the starting lineup. Farrick is back in. They're gonna trap. They're gonna press now. Wilkinson nearly gets picked. Oh, he stepped on uh, the line. Stepped the line. He stepped on the line. Excellent work. Crowd is alive now. Excellent work. Excellent work. Number 12 there, Kyle Beal, the sophomore from Rockport, complaining, but no dice for him. All right, out to Farrick. Back to Wilkinson. Wilkinson looking, looking. He had Odoy. Decided not to go with it, took it himself. Odoy with a strong board underneath. Almost got it, but it's going to go the other way. So 20 to 17 with five minutes left in the half. Neither team really pulling away, although it was 9 to 4 early in the game. And he's still going to have to pull it up. Great defense by Overball. And there's a steal for Triton. And there's definitely a foul not called. Max is going to drive with it. He's going to push off a bit. He's going to need some help. Finds it in Odoi. Odoi Pass. finds it underneath. Fake. Overball for three. They might have the size, but, you know, Triton is tougher on the boards they got right the now. the hustle, that's for sure. Triton is, a lot, Triton is a lot tougher on the boards. They are. They're playing at full speed. I like that. So we've got Overball, Farrick, Wilkinson, McKenzie, and Odoi in there. And they're, they're trying to trap, and they give it up, and unfortunately it's going to be a layup on the other end. No, 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 number 30. Number 30. Number 30. Kid that's not even on our roster. That's what happens when you're not on the roster. You don't make your layups. <laughs> so that had to be a foul. I mean, the kid, Odor just went back a half a foot. Well, they're letting him play, the refs, that's for sure. That's for sure. And, uh, a lot of good physical activity out there. All right, so Rockport settles it down the half-court offense with four minutes left. Looking around, looking around. We got a couple oh, of kids on the court. They got no one in the paint, though. That didn't start. Well, the, the big guys are all out, except for 35. So Rockport again looking. And he's got nothing. He's got to swing it out past the three-point line. Again, bringing it to the arc. There's only five seconds left on the shot clock now. And that was definitely a foul. Not called, but that's okay. They got possession. Overball with a beautiful oh. move, but not a great finish. And unfortunately, that's going to be a foul on uh, Wilkinson. It's going to be going the other way. Great defense, though. They brought him all the way down to the, to, to the very end of that shot clock. So they're putting pressure Playing on, but it looks like it's kind of a kind of a man-to-man -man full court. Uh, Wilkinson finally with another uh, another foul on him. That's got to be two on Wilkinson, right, right, right in a row, back to back. Yeah. Yeah, so Maybe that's gonna, right that's going to bring Tamino in. Yep. I think you do well. It's, you get a couple fouls back to back. You yeah. got to come sit. It's a long game. There's a whole other half after this. So Rockport's inbound, staying way outside that arc. 35 is trying to post up, but he's not getting the ball from his teammates. They've got two big guys on the court, but they're not using either one of them inside really. And there's another that's turnover. Why. Yeah, that's why. It's right. You got no hands. Overball gives it up to Wilkinson. Wilkinson, Odoy, he was on the line, but they're going to give him three. They're going to give him three. No, they're only giving him two. This guy called it right. Yeah. Yeah, good call by the ref. Well, his foot was definitely on the line. I could see it from here. And I can't see a lot. <laughs> Try to staying in this press. I like to see it. Almost worked. 
Yeah, you like playing a press. I mean, the press kind of well, gets you much, gets you pumped up and motivated, right? That and with this lineup, with this speed, like it's sort of almost a waste of, of uh, talent and athleticism to not get in the press. You're saying Triton needs to be in the press because they've got most the talent the and the athleticism. Yeah, for, yeah. like well, any lineup you put out there with these with this uh, team is going to be fast and it's going to be quick. Yeah. So you might as well. Look at this. That's yeah, beautiful. Yep. You That's can roll out happen. different presses for different lines, happen. but might as well stay in it. Yeah. Timeout. Timeout. Rockport. Timeout. Rockport with 3:22 left. So they're in the press now. It's working. But I always thought. When the other coach calls a timeout, that's when you when you take the the opportunity to completely change things up, like bring out a different look on defense, bring out a different look on offense, because they're sitting there talking about how they're going to break the press. They're scheming for they're what scheming you're doing for right. what you've been doing, yeah. which admittedly has been working right. But the five point lead, three twenty two left in the half. Right. Come out, go into like a, a half court set, and, and see what you can do. Yeah, I agree with that. I say that, but of course I'm not down there coaching. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for me to say from up here. Yeah, but they look good. They look good. They're moving the ball they around do. really well. They're driving um, when they need to drive and swinging the ball when they need to swing the ball, which is good to see. Yeah. The ball's not getting caught up on one side of the floor, which is always good. Yeah, we haven't seen one of those where a kid just gets trapped in a corner right. or a kid just can't. That hasn't happened yet, which is that's a really good sign. The team is, is gelling. They're playing well as a team, so that's good. They seem to be controlling the energy of this game. They are. More than I They're 100% dictating the energy of this game. And they got the ball with 3.22 to go. And they're going to run a pretty simple inbound play. It looks like just get the ball out to Odoi. Odoi, the long three. Not sure why it was taking that with 30 seconds on the shot clock, but Tamino trying to keep with his man. Avoids the pick. Still staying outside that three-point line. They got two of their big guys in there now, 35 and 55. He's just going to try and back a door down, and it doesn't quite defense. work. Fantastic defense. Just refused to give up any space. And a little runner. Almost. Doy has one gear, and it's fast. Yeah. And he is just, uh, there's a good Euro oh. step. Doesn't work. He's got to go. I was going to say he's got to go outside, but he didn't. Tried to take the shot. That was a little tough. Rockport again, Tamino picking them up right at half court. They're taking they're taking 10 seconds off the clock just by just by pressuring the guy at half court when he's coming down. And Rockport's not adjusting to that at all. Nope. Rockport looking to go back inside. Defense is decent but not good enough. And that was uh, Ferrick that got beat on that. So here comes Overball, finds Tamino. Tamino decides not to shoot, pull the trigger. Overball almost does. Looks at Tamino again. Beautiful step to go around him, but there's way too many big guys inside right now. That's not going to work for, for Triton at all. Tamino is going to shoot this time. It's going to be an air ball. So they've just had back-to-back -back, uh, back -back bad possessions. Rockport has had one out of two that's going well for them. Let's see what they do with this possession now with a minute and 50 left. There's another good move inside. That kid 21 is good. 35 is good. This is a big team. And there's a, there's a timeout. There's a timeout. Something's not working on offense. Something something just unclicked on offense after it had been going so well. Um, yeah, so you so you remember co or playing for Surrender back as a junior. sophomore. Junior? Sophomore. Junior, junior. okay. He right, because he was only away for one year. Correct. So, yeah. Right. And he was the assistant coach, yeah. Assistant what, so what's play. his style like? Is he the guy that's, um, so like right now, is he drawing up? you know, the perfect play, or is he the guy that wants to talk to you and say, this is where you should be, this is what we went over in practice, this is how to do things? Well, he's probably looking at the clock and seeing that there's only about a minute and 45 left, so he's probably yeah. got a goal for halftime, is where we want to be, where the team wants to be before uh, halftime, whether they're up five or what, mm -hmm. uh, or wh whatever he wants to do. So he's probably setting them up for the situation, and then at halftime he'll talk about them and uh, talk to them about the long term. Like, do we want to keep the press up? Do we want to switch the offense? But yeah. in the timeout, he's more focused on the moment, especially in on the first moment. half. Um, and he would, w when Clay was the coach, he'd always be the one to drop the plays. He'd always be the one hmm. to be knowing the personnel and who's going to be where, who's going to be doing what, the X's and O's, which, right. is, which is great to see. Um, I wish you could play for him as a head coach because. I only got to see him as an assistant, but he still he was a huge part of the team when I was there. Um, so I'm glad that he's back, back, back at Triton. I think he likes it here, too, after talking with him. Uh, yeah, he definitely does. Um, he's happy to be back. Like I said, he's got four kids that played for him before that are on this team as well. Um, and he's been coaching for 14 years, and I think he finally probably has a spot he likes now. He was in North Ando for, for a while. 
to Georgetown for a while. Triton Newburyport, now he's back here. Adoy up top of the ball, looking around. They got Doring back on the court. They're not going to him. Max is trying to do something with eight seconds left. It's to Beletza. Back into Max. I'm not sure that's ever going to work. Nope. He traveled. I don't know that they're going to be able to pump the ball inside like that. And credit to Rockport. They get out on the shooters pretty quickly. Yeah, they do. They're, they're, this is a shooter-heavy team. This is a shooter-heavy team. So, again, there's pressure right there. And they're going to blow off 10 seconds off that shot clock, just getting the ball over and, and getting their offense set up. Coming inside to 21 again. Back up top. That's not many three-pointers that have been taken by them tonight. And he's going to miss that one, but he's going to get the offensive rebound by 55. Knowlton? No, Rawson. Rawson, no, Rawson. Rawson. Captain, one of five. One of five, one of five captains. <laughs> Yeah, teams are funny about who's a captain and who isn't, right, Owen? Yeah, that's true. I yeah, that's that true. Well. Yeah. And Rawson misses his first. I don't know how many. Uh, this, if, that, if, the, if the scoreboard is accurate, that was only the third foul by Triton in this game, which Doesn't seem right. is crazy, but it's possible. It hasn't really been. There haven't been a lot of no, whistles. There haven't been a lot of fouls. They've been um, play. Two point game with a minute back left. The They're back into the press. Bledsoe and the team beat it. Odoi, again, his foot right on the line. Not going to fall. Oh, great good defense. Great play. Great play. Good great heads play up. Good heads up play all around. Absolutely fantastic. Bledsoe with a beautiful steal. Feeds it into Odoi for the layup. Four-point game now with 35 seconds left. No and here comes Rockport. Yep, no foul. Although, you got fouls to give. It doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, and actually, he's right. Doring was just holding Rawson pretty heavily. Good defense. Again, great defense, great pass, little layup, Thanks. the lefty, beautiful. Exactly what Sharanda wanted to be. Six-point game with 18 seconds left. Here comes Rockport. they got to get the ball inside or take a better shot than they did last time. And it looks like they're going to lose it out of bounds with 10.7 left on the clock. Rockport's unraveling a little bit here. And Triton's got to take advantage of that. Mason from Nick. American for Doring. Shooter for a shooter. Mm -hmm. Max brings it in, 10 seconds left. I don't know if they have a special play they like with only 10 seconds left, but basically they just want somebody to shoot it. Overball deep, it's gonna be short, and it's gonna miss. And there goes the buzzer, and we're at the half. 26-20 at the half. After a nine to four start to this game, and a really slow start. We didn't have a basket for a solid minute and a half. Long drought there. Uh, and then when we finally got it going, it, it looked pretty good, although this should have been the quarter. The quarter score yeah. after the first quarter, not the first half, 26-20. Uh, last year, this team, your team, Owen, um, beat Rockport 55-45 at Rockport. They only You only play Rockport once a year. Correct. Because they're, they're there. so far away um, and hard to get to. And their gym is tiny, right? Yeah, it's not yeah. a fun gym to play in. So uh, we'll probably take a little bit of a break at halftime, if that's good with the crew. Um, give us ourselves a chance to get some water. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and talk to each other about this game, and then we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, welcome back. We had a 26-20 halftime score with Triton with the lead over the visiting Rockport Vikings. Uh, oh, and halftime, what kind of adjustments do you think Surrender's making in there in the, half, in the locker room? Well, Surrender definitely uh, is looking at the... Uh, Rockport defense because it was giving Triton a little trouble here and there. Uh, they seemed to play like a 4-5 out. Um, they didn't have a lot of inside presence, so they'd have to swing the ball around, and it sometimes would waste time off the shot clock, so they'd right. have to put up late shots. Um, so we might be looking to get someone like Max or um, Kyle inside more, um, or bring someone off the bench like Mike Farago, mm -hmm. who's got some size. Um, yeah, Quinton McKill. There's a couple kids that are big. Thomas and, Marshall's right, got exactly. height. Um, just to sort of space the floor so that the guys on Rockport playing on defense have something to worry about under uh, under the paint. So, so early in the game, they were he was playing uh, Farrick and Wilkinson on the blocks. Um, so two kids I don't think of as being I think of as being more guards right. than, than four. They are really. guards, right? Um, so do you think he'll go back to that? I mean, he it might. wasn't working initially, but you know it's something to maybe go back to or try. It might out. be something that. Uh, He'll tell the point guards like Tamino and uh, Overbaugh that like if you see the defense, if you come down, the defense is in a certain set to go into this because they can't defend it when mm. it's like that. Right. Um, they'll look to uh, sort of exploit their weaknesses. 
Um, because yeah. there were times when the passes would get down low and then you'd see Max flashing to the paint and they'd get a, a layup off that. Um, so I definitely think it's something that they should keep they should keep in mind, but they should, they really need an inside presence because yeah. they're getting beat up on the boards. They're getting beat up on the glass. And yeah, I agree. Although there were flashes where they were just playing more physical and more aggressive underneath right. and getting some rebound, rebounds. How good are Tomino and Overball at seeing the court when they're coming down and being able to adjust the offense on the fly like that? Uh, it depends. Just asking because you played with them. So I it's did, a tough yeah. Question. It is a tough question. Yeah. Uh, it depends. If they're in a press... Both of them are kind of uh, more of a head down, get the ball up past mm. half court. Yep. But on a, when the defense is back on the half court, uh, both of them are good at seeing um, passes that um, not everybody would usually see. Um, and but what they're really good at is when once the once there's a few passes in the offense, they're good off the ball. They yeah. like to move um, over to the wings and sort of change it up. Um, so that way it's not they're not just swinging the ball around the, yeah. the arc. We saw that on offense and on defense because I know there was one play where Overball picked up the kid at half court, really pressured him and, and sort of stalled Rockport getting into their offense. And then when the shot ended up going up, it was Overball that was in the lane somehow and ended up getting the rebound. Right. So They're both um, all over the place. They both are all. And that's, I guess that's like you were saying earlier, you want a team that just plays everywhere. Right. You want a, a, a team with a lot of athletes is going to be able right. to play well if, if that's what they – if that's the approach that they take to it, so. right? Like a team like this with not a lot of height, you want a lot of a lot of guys playing a lot of positions because right. no one's a true point guard, no one's a true center on this team. Yeah, and I actually talked to uh, Coach Schrender about that a couple days ago. About you know, do you put out um, guys based on the position to traditional positions, or do you go just with the best athletes? And he said he just wants the best out, best athletes on the right. floor, no matter what. So here we go. Um, a little less than a minute in, trying to have one possession and got off an air ball. Rockport now with the ball at the top of the key, looking around, a nice drive to the lane. Little layup doesn't go. McKenzie with a rebound, looks for Tamino, keeps it himself. He's going to go to Odoi outside the arc. Nobody's Still flashing except time. Tamino. And there goes McKenzie with a good little move. Strong to the oh. basket, but a little too strong. And Triton, Triton just picking him up at half court, man, not, man. not paying that kind of pressure they were playing that's before. Right. Yeah, that's a walk. Number three is having a rough night. He's, he's carried the ball twice, and he's just traveled a couple of times. And Rockport giving up the press as well. They're just playing the half-court game. And I guess they're... Both seem to be in man-to-man. -man. Yeah, they're uh, in a 1-3-1 one one. One one yep. for Rockport. And that's going to that's gonna keep Triton out of the lane, but if Triton can get the shooters going, they'll be all right. And that's going to be off of Rockport. It's going to stay Triton ball. About 14 seconds left on the clock. They're going to run an inbound play. You tell me if you recognize it, Owen, if this is one you saw from Surrender before. A lot of running around. Odoi is going to take the ball outside the three-point line. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing at all. Tomino is going to look. He's got nothing. Odoi is going to take it this time. That looks good. good. In and out. That hurts. So it's basically the starting lineup except for, uh, no, it is. Is it starting? Tomino started? Yeah, Tomino started. So we get the same starters, and that's a nice little steal. Here comes Wilkinson. Drives, good rebound. Max for oh. rebound, got blocked. Is that 35? 35. Jeez, that kid is. That kid's been a beast tonight. Hiller, he's actually their their high score with seven points, and he just blocked Triton's high score of uh, McKinsey at seven in the Jesse's first half. Third as well. foul, I think. Yeah, probably. So I have to admit, I love. I'm a little. I get a little scoreboard envy. The scoreboard at <clears throat> Newburyport, they actually put up the the player's number and how many fouls um, and they also have that uh, one minute timer on the timeouts that's nice, that's nice it is luxury. nice yeah it is a nice luxury to be honest makes it a little easier all right here we go Rockport with the ball underneath basically a fresh 30 on the clock Max almost gets a steal Odoi gets a steal though good play by Max driving three Triton play good hit Excellent work by Wilkinson. No, that was, that was Mason. <laughs> Pink shoes. By the end of the season, I will know those two apart better than I do now. Pink shoes is Mason. Got it. Mason on defense against 55. Right. Ducks his head. Yeah, he traveled first though. He did a little slide step, 55. He did a little shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, he did. He's asking, did I move my foot? Yes, you moved your foot. That's why Whether he did or didn't, the ref called it. So that's yeah. all that matters. And he's a uh, Rockport coach kind of upset. It's an eight-point game now. It's only six at the half. Again, a very slow start to both offenses. 
We're almost three minutes in, and we've got one basket. Here's the toy. He's off. He's off. But now we're going. Now it looks like Triton's going into the press. It's way to shake things up a little bit. But it looks like Rockport's going to be able to break it. But I like that pressure. I like the pressure right at half court too. Good Tamino. Steal. Oh, almost. That was a travel. Lots of bodies flying around. When the bodies are flying around the court with, with guys like Tamino and Odoi who played football, <laughs> Triton's in good shape. Yeah, right? I would say so. I mean, that's that's a good sign for Triton when you got that Low kind, of, ground that kind of, of physicality oh, going yeah. on. It's good stuff. So Tamino takes a rest, overball comes back in. Was he, the, he was the high scorer in the first half for Triton. I got I that wrong. he had wrong. seven as well. He had seven, yeah. I said, I said Max, but it was overball. And there's a nice three-pointer. Good long look. Odoi almost, almost got that offensive rebound. Back to Rockport. Eight-point game with the five-minute mark in the third. Here comes Rockport. Good drive down the lane. Shoots from the tee. That kid is talented when he doesn't carry the ball. And he's pretty good. He's a good look to Max. He's going to drive. And force it inside. He's going to kick out to Mason. He's going to... Oh, in and out with that three, but there's going to be a foul Fourth on now. I think, oh, yes. yeah, and is coming in he's right on the edge of getting a tee. It's a good thing he's sitting down. You can see that ref was just, just watching him to see if he was going to say anything else. So Bledsoe in. And we can talk about that Linfield game uh, next time there's a timeout. Yeah. A Rockport, unfortunately, very easily breaks the press. They don't call the charge, and they end up in the basket. I think he was moving a little bit too much, or he was probably, even though there isn't the uh, the line arc, in, in yeah. the arc, and I think he was probably inside of that imaginary arc. Let's look at get a, to Odoi, and he does. First, he gets shoved out of bounds there. Again, number three. Three's a good player. Uh, Mendoza, Ezra Mendoza. Just having a little bit of a rough night. I remember him from last year. He was the yeah. young guard. He plays great defense. A lot of fire. That's again, when he doesn't carry the ball, he looks pretty good. Overball, overball, looks to Bledsoe, keeps it himself, swings it out. Trains offense is like all above yeah. the foul line. And when they get down low, they can't, they can't do anything. They have like two, they have like three to four guys standing right around foul line or above. No, not a lot of pressure. Outside the three-point line right. at the foul line. Right. right. Foul line extended. Exactly. Yeah, yep. yeah, foul line extended. Yep. So here comes Rockport with the ball again. Right up to the tee. Good hands by Bledsa. And that's going to be an inside move by 35, and it's going to go. Odoi's like got to, that. Odoi's got to hold his ground. He can't. He did it a couple times in the first half where he just held and didn't mm -hmm. let the kid make a good pivot. But that's, on that, that's, that's your high score for Rockport adding to it. And he's got a chance to bring this to a one-point game. After a six-point lead at the half and an eight-point margin at one point, we're now down to one if he hits this, and he did. And that's with Rockport laying off on uh, on their press, too. So right. Triton's got to figure something out here. Swinging the ball around. You're right. Everybody's way outside the arc. Max is going to try and go. He's going to look for pass. over ball. Great pass. Tricky move inside, but he can't get it to fall. And now 55 is trapped. And a good timeout. Good timeout call by the Rockport coach. This heads player up. was in heads a lot up. of trouble. Good with the heads up timeout. Now, in basketball, they only have four timeouts and a half. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You played last year, wouldn't you know? I have no idea. I called these games last five, year, wouldn't I know? Six. Yeah. So tell us about the, the Linfield game and um, I almost said Adam. It's Brandon Brandon Blazza. Blazza. So, yeah, so last year we uh, we were away at Linfield um, in the beginning of the season, and we were looking. We had lost. I don't remember what a record was at that time, but we were looking for something new. And during one of the practices, Brandon was called up, and he – hit almost every shot he took um, in a scrimmage. So we, we, I don't know if we started him, but he came in early and uh, he hit, I don't remember if it was six or seven, but he hit like six or seven threes. Yeah. And it was, yeah, but it he was also like, didn't, I think he hit six out of seven. Something like felt that. like he it was ridiculous. Yeah. Because after the f like second one, we're like, all right, how was he going to hit? Because he, he, he was a sophomore. Yeah, he was a sophomore. I think um, he's only a junior now, right? Yeah. So... He was yeah. going against guys that two times his size, and we and drew Linfield. up. 
in Linfield, which yeah. is always a good team. Always a good team. And we drew up these plays for him, or not specifically for him, but for shooters, where it was just he pop up to the corner from a screen down in the paint. And uh, and it was like three or four plays in a row where Linfield didn't defend it, and he was wide open in the corner and just knocked down. And it was fantastic. And we lost the game in double overtime or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was double overtime. It was it was it crazy. Was a and and it was a it was a heartbreak of a game for Triton. It was a great game in uh, in terms of a lesson on coaching for Linfield. I just remember the way the Linfield coach came out in the second half and made the right adjustments because yeah. it shouldn't have been as close. Right. Despite the way you were playing. And that's a three for Max. It misses entirely. That ball's out of bounds somehow on Triton. So the last time they forced a turnover with this press, a bad pass from Rockport. We'll see what happens here. Hiller with the ball, almost gives uh, it up. No, lets it with, a, with the body. A little too quick in there. Three minutes left, a one-point game. Four fouls now on Triton. That was quick. They only had three in the entire half last time. They can hit the bonus this half for sure. This press is... And there's a boy with a beautiful steal, good a beautiful pass, pass but a beautiful bucket. And Even again, if get the football players out there and good things happen. And that is a crazy call. So the ref is saying that was on the floor because Odoi landed on top of him before he took the shot, which I kind of get because he really was only shooting after Odoi had clearly fouled him. On the other hand, the only reason it's not a continuation is because the kid wasn't moving. His yeah. feet his feet were planted and he wasn't going to go anywhere. So that's a it's a crazy foul. It's 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 good to see Odoi walking away because it looked like it probably hurt a little bit. There's a push off uh, Max with a foul. So we're, we've gone from three fouls in the first half to double that before we even get to the the end of the third quarter. They're getting more aggressive, and the rest are calling it a little bit tighter. And there's a chance for Max to get a nice, easy left-handed layup, and he does some sort of crazy a backwards little bit thing. Foul, but that's all right. Yeah. And there's Bledsoe for a three, and that's going to go over. Oh, that oh. should have been out of bounds. Oh. It definitely should have been out of bounds. These refs are uh, making it interesting. Let things go. They're not letting They're things go. They're definitely making it interesting. Rockport's making it interesting too. Three-point game now. Two and a half minutes left. Decent little pass inside, but it doesn't work. Bledsoe pulls the balls out, goes to Max. Max looking and looking. Bring the ball up the court. He's going to have to swing into a guard. He finds Bledsoe for another three. That one still misses. They haven't had, despite 30 points, they just haven't had that shooting touch they've had in the past. Number 13 was wide open over there. Took too long to get the ball to him. 20 seconds left on the shot clock, and he almost brings an elbow across Bledsoe's face, goes for the three, nails it, and we're in a tie game. So that eight-point margin at the early in the second half is erased. Trent with the ball now with a minute and 30 to play in the half. Max is going to drive, Eurostep, kick it out. Bledsoe's is the third three in a row that he's taken and the third three that he's missed. I could say that Trent needs a uh, different look on offense here. Yeah. So Bledsoe airballed the... Airballed the first one and missed the second too short. I think he's probably going to have a seat. Let Odoi and Tamino come back in. So Rockport with a chance to take the lead for the first time since, I don't remember when it turned ago. over, but it was a while ago. I want to say it was at, at the 20-point mark. I mean, right when Rockport had 20, I think uh, Triton took over the lead right after that. But he misses the first. Max coming out. Bledsoe coming out. So we've got Doring. Doring, Wilkinson. Is it Farrick? No, Farrick. Oh, my Pink God. shoes. I'll get it by the end of the season. You better keep wearing those shoes. Oh, over, over ball. I was going to say, touched it and touched it out of bounds, and somehow the ref gave it to him. So here we go. Odor bringing the ball up. He's going to swing to his right. He's going to make that pass to Farrick, who's going to miss his three long. But Tamino with the rebound back to Overball. Another 30 seconds on the clock. Could something clock. happen yeah. here? I'm Out to uh, Tamino, Tamino to Overball. Overball getting a lot of pressure, but Odoi isn't. And they go inside to Doring. Doring's good finish. Oh, I was going to say, don't bring the ball down, but it seemed to work for him. And he's not the tallest kid on the no, team. He's, he's playing in the paint, and he just got a beautiful bucket. So that'll give Triton a two-point lead. Oh, close to a carry again. He almost passed it to himself. 21 with an interesting shot, doesn't fall. Mason with the ball, good the little pass to Overball. 
Little ball looking to go inside. Nothing there. Back to Ferrick. Ferrick's got to get a little space for himself and a good timeout. A good timeout with 40 seconds left. This is where you can get a basket, get a turnover, spread this lead a little bit more here. I wouldn't be surprised if I see Trayton coming to press after a made shot. So I don't think we're supposed to talk about Bledsoe hitting threes anymore because as soon as you said that, we took that time out to talk about it. The next thing you know, three Bledsoe threes and was misses three. three in a row. That's all so right. So we won't shoot talk about shoot. that anymore. No, that, yeah, she just have to keep shooting. That's true. So our crew tonight, we have Ben working the, uh, working the board. He was in the JB game looking very strong. Morgan and Alexia helping us out tonight with the camera crew. We're going to try and get an interview after the game, probably with Odoi. We'll send you down there, Owen. Mm -hmm. Talk to him, see what he thinks about the season, see what he thinks about uh, coming back from an injury that he had during the football season, which completely changed the football team entirely. Uh, they went from a passing off, pass first offense to a run only offense uh, overnight. Well, not overnight, on one play. Um, but uh, this basketball team's looking looking like they're going to have a stronger season than football did. They're three and two now. They seem to find their identity. They, yeah, they look like a good team. And they're a young team. I mean, relatively yeah. young, right? Adoy is a sophomore. Adoy is a sophomore. Doring is a junior. Farrick and Wilkinson are in Overbaugh, all juniors. Doring is a senior. I thought Doring was a junior. All right, my bad. Farrick looks to Max. Max looking inside. Long pass to Tamino, who's going to come up, take a little bunny jumper, and it's not going to go. It's going to be out on three somehow. White. Wow. Ezra Mendoza, you are having a night. <laughs> oh, that poor kid. So overbought to inbound. They call him the same play they called last time, whatever three is. Last time it was just uh, Odoi running around like crazy. And there's overball, and he's going to get. Oh, that looked good. Good board by 55. Almost gives it up to overball on a steal. Rockport brings it down and settles down for the last. Mina with that pressure. 16 seconds left on the clock. We're going to go in. 35 is going to try and back down Max. He's going to back him down. He's going to get called for the foul. That's what it, that's why you practice a post move. That's why yeah. you, you know, that's why you practice a post move so that you're so smooth doing it. Mm -hmm. The ref has to call a foul. Right. You lose control of that ball. You look like you're uncomfortable. Right. The ref's not going to call it. Right. But you look like you know what you're doing. You're going to get that call every time. There you go. That's one for uh, one more for 35. I don't know how many Mike Farrago will come in. Probably to go at 35. Who's this for kid? A little size. Mike Farrago. He's a uh, senior. Nope, junior. No, junior. So you played with him, man? Eh? Uh, oh, he he played JV with below me, yeah. but yeah, no, I yeah. played. I've seen him play a lot. And Rockport ties it up now with 10, 11 seconds left. In the third quarter, TJ bringing it down to Max. Max is going to look. He's going to swing it out to no. He's going to take it himself. It drives. Good play. Oh, and he makes it. They got two seconds left. No foul. And then number three. Almost looked like he traveled with it again. Two point lead. Two point lead going into the fourth. After a six point lead at the half and an eight point margin at one point. Kenzie has nine points. Wilkinson's got four fouls. Yeah, he's not, probably not going to get a lot more no. playing time. And that kid, 35, has uh, quick math. 11 points and three fouls. Yeah, that's not, so he's the high scorer of this game so far, and I think they're probably going to pound the ball inside to him the whole rest of the game. Probably, yeah, no, he looks comfortable under there. Although, who knows, with Mike, oh, it looks like Mike's back out. But, uh, yeah. No, he definitely looks comfortable in the paint. No, so what would you do? Would you go with the small lineup and try and run the court again, or would you try knowing that on the on if they get into their half court set, they'll go down low. <laughs> they'll go down low. On the other hand, um, Rockport's been called for one foul, yeah. so at some point you need to force that issue as well. You need to get them. You're yeah, not going to get in foul in trouble a in a. In a uh, they're taking a lot of outside, outside shots, shots yeah. um, and you're not getting you're not going to force them into foul trouble likely in, in the next eight minutes. Um, but you're in trouble yourself. Rockport's at the line for the whole rest of this game, um, for the whole fourth period, fourth quarter. Two point lead. Trent going to start with the ball, right? Nope. Rockport's ball to come out. Two points in eight minutes. Here we go. I get a feeling this one's going to be wicked down. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So Triton in a 2 3 zone. Doran pressuring. Not too much. Overball pressuring now as it swings out to the left side. Looks underneath. Number 30. 
played JV, we think, uh, before the game, so we don't know who he is. Good little up and under move. Great little move down the lane by Rockport, and they're now a tie game again. And here comes Overball. Let's see what kind of offense they go into. We've got everybody spread out, Doring again down in the blocks, and that's a turnover. And Rockport has the ball and a chance to take the lead. I like the 2-3 look because Rockport hasn't really been shooting all that much, but 2-3 will put three guys in the paint, which will help with the uh, problems they've been having down low. A little more pressure on the guys down low, yep. And there is a turnover. There's a turnover. That's what you want to see. So good adjustment by uh, by Coach Surrender. We'll mm -hmm. see how it pays off here. they got to get the offense cranked yes, back up again now. The they need some kind of spark. Don't run out of here door, soon. Down low. Somebody, somebody's got to make this thing happen. And there's a soft little pass, but it works. Max with ball a fake. fake. He's going to drive. Get fouled. Throw the ball up. Beautiful play by O'Doring. Oh. It just won't quite fall, but so a good weird. board. Doring with the ball now is going to go to the lane as well. Kicks it out to face Mason. Mason got fouled. It looked more like a tie-up, but... Mendoza for foul. <laughs> Good. Don't catch a drink. Oh, man. The second foul of the, of the half for the Rockport Vikings, a minute, solid minute into the fourth quarter. And there's Mason to take a three. It's good step back three, but he doesn't quite hit it. Step into a three, I should say. Doesn't hit it. And here comes Mendoza with the ball, pressured by Overbaugh. Comes across half court and gets oh. tripped, and that does it somehow doesn't get called. An absolute blatant trip. And the refs missed that one. Max with the ball now. He's going to bring it across half court. He's going to go right down that lane. Euro step and a little roll. There we go, Max. He has got to get that to fall every time, though. I I'm not a fan of that shot. I'm not a fan of the Euro step and figure roll. Because I think you do that once or twice, you're going to get it blocked. But if you can keep that going. So Max out on top on 13. He's going to drive the lane as well and get blocked. And it's going to go out. No, a save. Rockport, for some reason, saved the ball. And Max with his second offensive rebound, and then he's going to call the walk. Now, I'm going to go on a rant for a second. He was blowing a whistle calling a walk the second that Max hit the ground. Max could have frozen, could have like positioned his body perfectly like some yoga master and not move. He still was going to call the walk because any time a player's got the ball on the floor, to fall they down. call the walk. Yeah. It just drives me crazy. But they have a two-point lead with six minutes to go. Offense has been still a bit off. Yeah, they, they um, haven't really sort of seen to figure out the size problem here. Well, they're just they're not getting the kind of looks I think no. they got a couple times. And they, and they need more of that fast break stuff. If yeah, they, get they, need it. To um, they need to get what they need is d turnovers. They yeah. need to turn turnovers and yep. points. Defense to turn to offense. Yep. That'll get them going. So he's going to go with Odoi, Doring, Overbaugh, Wilkinson. Max, and Wilkinson. And Wilkinson's getting some minutes now with, with only six minutes left. We know he has He's four fouls. Foul, yeah, exactly. He's in foul trouble. So at some point, does the coach say, hey, don't foul, or does he say, I've got seven guys behind you yeah. that can come in, so play, play your, your hardest defense probably yeah. at this point. I mean, yep. as long as he doesn't commit a stupid foul or a sort of aggressive, annoying right. foul, then right. yeah. If it's a good hard foul, then why not? Then right. Then use your fouls. That's yeah. what they're there for. Yep. So it's going to be Rockport ball underneath, fresh 30-second clock. And here we go. Rockport with a, a lazy start to their inbound play, trying to get it to 35 Hiller, and they do. He's going to try and take on Odoi. You know he's going to move to the basket, but he doesn't have anything, and he almost gets it stolen by uh, by Wilkinson. His only offense has been in, from in the block. We haven't seen him outside. Dribble or anything, it's all been post moves. So if they can keep him it's outside of the Odoi, paint. And Odoi's got a body into him. Body him out of the paint, that's all he's got to do. He's not. 10 seconds on the clock now, he's going to have to either drive. Yeah, he's going to try and drive and do something. And yeah. almost got it. That had to be over the back. That was textbook over the back. Oh my. I'm, I, I cannot believe how over the back that was. And yet, Mendoza gets away with one. Maybe that's maybe that's <laughs> seen a little bit of Finally karma. Got, um, got a break. Oh. And there's a hold on Overbaugh, and that's Ooh. the ninth foul, but he won't be shooting. Why is he shooting? Oh, because it's because uh, it was a defensive play. All right. I was thinking it was wow. striking the ball, but yeah. That is a that's a that and that was the same kid that just went so over the back. So a two point game now. With five minutes and twenty eight left. Mendoza at the line. Hits his first end of the one on one. Gets to take the second. 
Surrender keeping the same team on the floor right now. I don't know how many fouls Overball has, but he's looked pretty good. And they're going to have gonna to break press. a press now. But over, but uh, Overball and Odoi and um, and Doring right there, they've been pretty calm doing it. You know, some teams panic in the press. Triton, Triton doesn't usually panic in a press. Everyone, everybody on the court can uh, handle the ball. Max with a good little move. We're going to have to go to Odoi. Odoi's not going to take that shot. But he's going to get fouled. Fouled by 55, it looks like, or 30. I don't know. I couldn't tell which one. Yeah, every kid on this on the court right now could have been a guard last year. So ball handling yeah. is definitely not one of their problems. Right, right. They need to do some more shooting. Yeah. He's only got a few more seconds to get this ball in. He's going to go to Odoi. Odoi in the corner. Not a great place to have the ball, but he takes a decent shot. And a tip, and Wilkinson's going to get it and drive and get fouled, and it's going to come. And it's on Mendoza. Right? It might be. Yep. Yep, three black on Mendoza. I don't know how many fouls that is, but he's got to be getting close. That's his fourth foul. It's only his fourth foul. All right. So 12 is coming in for Mendoza. Have we seen 12 in this game so far? I don't recall. Kyle Beal, maybe. He's the sophomore. I think he came in uh, in the first half at one point to give Mendoza a rest. Tamino going to be coming in as well. One shot, he makes it. And now we got a three-point game with five minutes exactly yeah, Jesse. left on the clock. So Wilkinson comes out. So we've got Tamino and uh, Overball in there, which is, is your speed and hands lineup. That's for sure. Uh, but not, not usually going to be playing under the basket. But here we go again. Almost 10 seconds off the clock just because right. Tamino playing that kind of defense on him. 35 out, setting the screen. Now there's a switch, so Doi's on 13. This kid held the ball for. Yeah, the kid has had the ball the entire time. 20 seconds. Yeah. He did. He took 20 seconds off the clock, that one kid. Just trying to get past Overball and, or Tamino and Odoi. That has to be a charge, and it is. Good take, Tamino. Good take. That's, That's, up. That's fantastic. That makes you think second. That makes you think twice if you're 35. That got, when you catch the ball in the lane. That got a bunch of the, the dad, coach, former coaches uh, up, up on their feet for that one. You got to love to see that. Good for Tamino. And Tamino, again, a football player is going to be able to take a charge. Yeah. Not worry about it too much. To Max. Max is going to look to Tamino in, in the corner. Nope, he's going to drive. He's going to go back up to TJ. TJ with a good three, but it bounces out. Max, a decent offensive rebound on that long bounce, and then a timeout by Surrender. Good timeout, 28 seconds still on the clock, plenty of time. Great playing by Tamino. That, that, we were talking about it, like, that which is better. It does change the game. It takes the ball away from the other team right when they think they're going to score. It puts a foul on the other team. That was and good on a stuff. They're, high, they're leading score, and a kid who's been dominating the boards yeah. all night long. It'll make him think twice the next time he catches the ball with someone on his back. And so Tamino was the one who, who played 13 all the way up the court. And then they they did it. They had to see it to switch with Odoi because their 35 came up and set the screen right. on him. And so then he ends up playing him, and it, you got a perfect mismatch. I mean, if you're yeah. Rockport, you're looking at that, and you're like, get the ball to 35. Right. He's playing, and then beautiful play by right. Tamino. So that's just that's just good basketball. Yeah, he's good basketball. Good basketball. He's a good player. Tamino's been a starter for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. He started as a, he started as a guard last year. Yeah. He's always been. He was. He played uh, when he was a sophomore. He played up with us. He on, played he was up. On varsity. Yeah. So it was, um, he swung. He played. No, he, played, oh, he, he just played straight up varsity. Yeah. Uh, as a sophomore, yeah. yeah no, he's he, quick. He's always he's very very consistent player. Good ball handler, good defender. Yeah. They good look head. fired up. They're ready to go. We have four minutes left in this game. They got a three point lead. Tamino taking a seat now. Doring in with a doy. Look to see Wilkinson Overball. and, uh, and uh, Tarek and um, oh yeah, because Wilkinson still has that last foul to give, and he's been playing well on offense. Yeah, he has. Be surprised to see the two of them go back. And get him in, play. get him the ball again. Yep. So here's Overball. Swings it out to Max. Decides not to take that three. Kick it back to Overball. Overball looks, loses the ball though. Runs into a little bit of trouble. Now we're at 20, 15 seconds left on the clock, and the offense has to completely reset. Max is going to look inside to o Odoi, who can finish. Good pass. pass. Yeah. They can do that. If they can get those kind of shots in the lane, they're in good shape. Here comes 13 again. Set up Rockport's offense. Now they got their three biggest players. Switch on the inside. Board. They're still definitely going to be looking to go inside. Triton's staying with a man to man, and it's working for the most part. Long shot by 21, and he hits it, but it's only for two. Long shot, but only two. And Rockport is let off on the press, although now they're bringing back up 
at half court. Not really enough to slow down over ball. There goes Odoi to Max. And here's Farrick wide open for a three. That is truly wide open, but he misses it. And it's a three-point game now with three minutes left. Here comes 35. A little behind the back dribble. Kicks it out to 13. It's been 13 and 35 that have been playing this whole game. 21 trying to get the ball, trying to post up on Max. Not having a lot of luck. And how in the world did he get around him like that? Wow. Great play by 21. Gotta go back credit to for that. There was no space, and he somehow made some. Incredible shot. They need to go back to the press because they cannot let them just get the ball into the, into the blocks here like comes, that. Here comes Overball again all the way up top. 20 seconds. Farrick looks again, doesn't take it. Back to Max. Max is going to drive. Find Overball no, inside. Good. That's how you get baskets right there. They just learn them to sleep, and then they're making those quick passes. And the passes, quick passes are working. Great basketball. So 21 is in that lane for easily three seconds. He gets away with it. And now he's outside. 35 is outside. He's going to try and drive. Almost gets it swiped by Overball. Back up to 21. 21 with his head down and driving. Oh. And that's a gift. gift. That oh, bad. that was a gift. I mean, it's unfortunate for Max because he definitely hit him on the arm, but the kid also just fell into it when he was shooting. So that's a tough call. That's a tough one. I mean, what, you, what you do with that, really? Jesse in for Nick. Rockport at the two-minute mark with a chance to tie it up here at 43. And he misses it, but 35. Oh. That looked like a lot of ball. It looked like Farrick had nothing but ball on that because he had it right above his head. It's hard Man, to believe. I think if, if it hit his head, it was the ball that hit his head. If you go to the tape, you see that was all yeah. ball. Yep. But now Rockport with a chance to take the lead, taking two shots. Now they're in the double bonus as well. So every yeah. foul from here on out will be. Will be two. Well, we only got two minutes and six seconds left. So, and that would be the first one that they wanted to tie this game up. He's on the line. So Triton's got to come out and go fast. Two minutes. Yeah, they got the way they've been playing. They gotta, they've got to. He smart. made it both, and Triton is down for only the second time in the second half. And they were down once before, and then they, they got a nice little six-point lead. Max with a really long shot. Not sure why he was taking that three with so much time on the clock. It's a strange choice, but he took it. Now Rockport with a chance to extend their one-point lead. He's going to 35, and 35 almost loses it out of bounds. Keeps it in. 21. Oh, you got to... And we might see a technical foul here. 21 and uh, Max have got to calm down a little bit. I think 21 was getting pretty excited, which I get. But on the other hand, you can't get excited around right next long, to the player long. that just got a foul call no on him. That's, uh, and then you can't get all excited and act like that and be like, hey, hey, no, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, it was you. So he hits the first, and it's now a two-point lead for uh, the visiting Rockport Vikings. And him and Max and 21, have just, what's the kid's name? I should probably call him by his name. Uh, Knowlton. He misses a second. 35 over the back. And called two-point game now with a minute and a half left, basically. And Triton's got to get some offense happening here. Max kicks it to TJ. TJ, Max is going to go. He's going to go to Farrick. TJ with the ball. Nope. Over ball inside. Can't quite get it to... Oh, no. Mendoza called with another foul. Nope, not his fifth. And it's only the sixth foul. Not a shooting foul yet. They'll be in the bonus on the next one. But it's only a minute 24. Who knows that if they're going to get another it is foul. Five on. Oh, it is five. Like, on. Mendoza going to have to come out now. Kid played a good game. He did play a good game. Kid played a good game. Fresh shot clock, do you... Fresh shot clock. Minute 24 left. One of their best defenders off the court. You got Max. You got Wilkinson. You were right. They brought in Wilkinson and Farrick again. There's Odoi. Odoi's going to look. Decides not to take it. Wilkinson's going to drive. Loses the ball somehow. Almost gets it back. And now they're down with two with a minute to play. Rockport bringing the ball up. Over ball on defense. Here we go. 13 again. He's just handling that ball the whole time. He's got to kick it out to 30, 30 over to 21. 21, you know he wants to shoot. No, that was just plain acting. Come on, man. He just chucked it up. I don't know what that was. Just that was just a terrible call from that ref. You've got to be kidding. 
didn't look smooth. That, it, it wasn't look anything. It was, just a, it was just a fall into him and, and the worst. get to the line. That is painful. And they got to take a timeout. That was the fifth foul on, uh, on McKinsey. See Mike Farrago so checking. Fraga checking in. Well, it wasn't on. Two point game. It was, game fifth, it was on Wilkinson. It was on, it was on Wilkinson. Oh, so it was, it was Wilkinson's fifth. Right. Yeah, okay. How was it on Wilkinson? Was he even covering? I didn't no. see that. I think they doubled him and he just jumped mm. into him and threw the ball towards the hoop. All right, so we'll see what happens here. Two point game, a minute to go. He's going to miss his first. And someone in the crowd's going to yell ball, don't lie. I didn't hear it, but I'm sure it was yelled. So here goes, here goes Nolten again at the line. Chance to extend it to three if he hits this. And he hits it. And here comes Triton with a minute to tie this game up. Do you go for two or you go for three? You go for two. Go the for way two they've been right shooting three, they haven't really yeah. been getting. They got two good Odoi layup. Timeout. Timeout, yeah. Schrander. Drop of, the, drop of the play here. This is where Schrander's at his best. Yeah, this is where he, this is where he wants it, right? Well, he doesn't want to be down three. No. But, uh, but when he's got he's to drop a play to get one basket, that's yep. where he's at his best. And so you're saying go for two, play great defense, get yeah, the ball been back playing well. They've been playing well, and they've been getting a lot of steals and forcing forcing passes that Rockport doesn't want to make. So I think I'd rather trust my defense here than my three ball. Yeah, the three uh, hasn't been falling. No. We, we were going to keep track of that tonight. Absolutely did not. Yeah, um, yeah we, miss our, we miss our Eric Gundrum. As much as we like uh, Morgan Hall keeping stats for us, Eric Gundrum was uh, a master at it. Um, but, yeah, they haven't hit a lot of threes. I have, I have not kept track at all. Um, it's just they haven't, been, they haven't been consistent. There have been streaks. Yeah. It's, been, it's been here and there. And um, they've had decent looks, but, uh, honestly, right. Rockport's defense has challenged them pretty well. Right. So you're right. So you gotta, but do you go inside? I guess you have to go inside, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on who Rockport. It looks like they're keeping their all three big guys out on the floor. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you just drive, cut, yeah. back to back screens. Can't, can't back hope to draw a foul. Not with, These True. refs have been too inconsistent for that. So um, just get that ball in. And they got 22 seconds. They really need to take it pretty quickly, though. I mean, they got to play two for one. you gotta, you got to make one, yep. and you got to give them less than a, a full shot clock. So here we go. I don't know what they're talking about. Overball, yeah, looks at it, decides not to go. It's Tamino. Tamino almost travels, gets really close. And they're now down to nine, eight on the shot clock. Someone's got to shoot this. And it's Tamino, and it gets blocked. And that kid was definitely out of bounds when he touched it. Three seconds on the shot clock. It doesn't reset because there was no possession by uh, by Rockport. Where this is huge. They've got to get a decent shot off. Odoi, you got to hit that. And he doesn't. But it's a good rebound by Tamino. Rebound, Tamino. Great rebound by Tamino. But now they still need a basket. And there's Odoi. Can't get the roll. Max tries to get it. Rockport with the ball now. And there, Max fouls 21. Nolan's going to go back to the line. And Triton looking really tough now. They had a lead. They had an eight-point lead early in the second half, early in the start of the third quarter. But they let Rockport crawl back into it. And... Uh, and just couldn't hit their shots. Just didn't hit a lot of outside shots. And they're Especially not falling. They're not falling. And they got decent looks. But uh, now we're at a three-point game with 23 seconds. We've got to hope that 21 misses a couple of shots here. Going at the line. He's, he's had the biggest impact on this last three or four minutes of the game. It's the first, and that's a big one. So Tamino out, at least for the moment. Got to get the board, got to get up the court. He hits them both. A five-point game with 23 seconds is going to be tough. They have an open three, you take it here. Good play, good play. And they're going to call that a charge. He set himself up in the right spot, exactly where it was going to be a screen. That's exactly textbook what you're supposed to do. He wasn't moving when it happened. And of course, Tamino hits a three that would have at least brought it into a two point game. I'm sorry, Overball hit the two. Timeout, Rockport. This has not been a Cape and Lee um, go to game for how to ref. No. Let's just say that. Um, and I'm not only saying that because Drain is down five. This it's has been gone inconsistent. both ways. Inconsistent. It is, yeah, it's been inconsistent both ways, if that's a possible thing. Um, it's tough. This this is a, definitely a game that Triton could have won. Yep. Um, 
they certainly need to hit a couple more of their outside shots to really lock this thing up. But yeah, they got tough. good looks and they just it didn't fall. Yeah. Basically, what it came down to play good defense. I think they made the right adjustments to the defense that Rockport was giving them. Yes. Um, yeah, and I, I think they made the right adjustments in terms of stopping Rockport's big guys. 30, right. 35 hasn't been a presence for the no, last five minutes. Yeah, no, 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 21 has come out of nowhere, but it's mostly been because he's getting he's got two gifts on, right. uh, on fouls. Right. So, um, well, yeah, no, they went to a zone, and it sort of it took out the, uh, the sort of post-up down low that they've right. been going to, that Rockport's been going to all night, so that was right. good to see. But yeah, they just they can't seem to get an offense that clicks. So a well. steal and a three, and it, and it kills me that that overball hit that right. three because clearly 24, you guys, was, was set, had his feet set, and everybody knew a pick was coming. Oh, oh! Overball almost gets a steal, and it's going that way. Triton ball, Triton ball. 14 seconds left. Triton ball. They got a chance. Come on, overball. Here we go. Let's it coming in. Checking in for Tamino. Overball is going to inbound. Right they have to hit a three now. You can't, yeah, you you can't, can't fool around. You've got to hit a three. You've got to hit somebody that's got the best chance of a three. And it's going to be Odoi. And he's going to hit it. He's going to hit it. Unbelievable. Wow. Timeout. Wow. Two point game. Unbelievable. What a shot. Now what a shot. That was ridiculous. And he got touched as he went down. It's surprised they didn't call the foul on that, but they didn't. So it's a two-point game with 11 seconds left, and now Rockport's got to be nervous. Now, now nervous they got to be. Now they all be you tense. have to do is get the ball in, but sometimes that's the hardest thing. They just and they just turned the ball yeah. over down there, and and it was a lot of rough play, and, they, and Trenton got away with yep. it. So we'll see what happens here now. Don't be so. surprised to see Rockport go long though, because with the height, yeah. they might just try to chuck it down the floor and jump up and make it a jumping contest. So Doring in for Farrick, and I think that's because Doring's just a, a good defensive player. I don't think it's because they're thinking he's going to get the ball and shoot. No, I don't know how many timeouts they have, but if they get the ball, they might call a timeout. I don't know how it's going to work. They could. They got Odoi, Odoi, Tomino, and Max, along with Overball and Doring going into this game. That is a good defensive set. They've got to get the ball and they got to get a shot off. There's just no and – and I guess you foul. I mean, you – Yeah. You, you get you, have to. you don't get the ball, you foul right away. You send them to the line, you hope for the best. And then, and then you're going to be able to bring in your shooters. Mm -hmm. I thought Doreen's a good shooter himself, but I guess you'd want Belletta in the game and probably Ferrick as well if it goes to that. And clearly Odoi since he just hit that last three. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. 11 seconds left. 11 seconds. They don't have the ball, but they can get it. And actually, if they can, <laughs> they can get the ball, uh, and if they get fouled, they're going to the line. So, 35, so they're... they're Best player to inbound. Looks like Triton's in a, basically a full court man to man. And he's running up and down the line. He's looking to go somewhere. He's going to go to 55. 55 is going to get fouled by Jordan right away. That's the right kid to send to the line. I know yep. he missed at least one free throw earlier tonight. So a good play. Took uh, a second off the clock. So if Triton can get the ball back and be down only two or even three, they're going to have a good chance. And here comes the shooters back in. Do you run the same play as last time? We have 24 just set the screen. Probably, right? Wow. Kid, hits, wow. kid hits the first. Three-point game. Doring out. Tamino out. Valetza, Ferrick, McKenzie, overball. And that is going to miss. Kid didn't come over the back. And Max, I think, turns it over. But it's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow. Possession arrow goes to Triton with six minutes left. Or six minutes, I wish. Six seconds left. So Rockport looked like they were going to call a timeout and change their mind. So here we go. He's got to get the ball in. He's got no time. Six, seven seconds. Six. He's got to find somebody. Put it up. Shoot Put it. it up. Shoot it, oh boy. And it's going to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's unreal. Pure. Unreal! He hits the three and we're going overtime. Wow! Oh my God! Absolutely pure. Kyle O'Doy back to back threes that to send unreal. this game into overtime. That's unreal. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And and who was it that made that pass? Because I think McKenzie. it was Max. Panic pass just to get he rid saw of the three ball. Three strike insurance at the top. And he saw just throw the ball out shoot. there. 
Wow. And Joy with a huge three. That's Got unbelievable. More basketball. Got, Got, Got free four basketball. more minutes of basketball. Free basketball. That's right. Four minutes of free basketball. Un wow. Believable. So now we got to look at foul trouble. That's two. That's back to back. Yeah. Uh, for Triton, I'm not sure who we got in foul Wilkinson, trouble. Wilkinson, I think, is out. Wilkinson is probably out. Mendoza's McKenzie's out. Gotta be, McKenzie's got to be close. He's close. Um, but, yeah, know that. Back to back. One falling away. One falling forward. Both off balance. Kyle O'Doy. And you could see the second went up. You're like, that's probably going to go in. Yeah. And it went in. Oh, my God. That was wow. unreal. I think we might have uh, broken a few eardrums <laughs> on this sound crew. Sorry about that. And that was unbelievable. So here we go. We're back, we're back to basketball. Four minutes to go in a, uh, in a game that alive they were side. down. They were down five with 19 seconds yeah. to go, and they didn't have the ball. Yeah. And they got two huge turnovers. And credit to Doring for that quick foul. And they're gonna start with the ball. So Triton's ball. Medoy is gonna pass it off to Overball. Overball. Whole new game now. Overball. Looking to see what he can make happen here. Medoy is definitely your hot hand, and he was open inside. Overball instead takes it in and out. Max tries to get something to happen, but doesn't get it, and they're going to go back. So here comes Tamino on 13. And he's absolutely driving his kid 13 nuts with his defense here. Slowing him down. 10 seconds off the clock already. Decent screen. Kicks it out to 35. 35 with a long three, and it doesn't go. And I think that's the first time we've seen Yeah, 35. we haven't seen him shoot all night. Overball. From outside. Sets it up. Me. Decides not to go. Back to Odoi. Doy up top. McKinsey looks to the corner for Ferrick. Doesn't take it. Goes himself and finds Overball in the corner who drives as well and gets fouled. No, nope, they're going to call it on the floor. He's shooting the one-on-one, though. That's, a good, that's, that's what a they good. needed to do. They needed to take it to the yep. hole. Good for Overball because he hasn't been doing that this whole game. So that was exactly the right time to do it. So Mason out. Doring, Doring in. His first name is Nick. We should probably call him Nick now and again. <laughs> His father, long time Triton Youth Basketball director, been a huge Four part of why this program is as good as it is. Jump ball. Jump ball, it's going to be Rockport ball. Max did get a tech in the last game that we saw at uh, Newburyport. So he's got to be careful he doesn't get teed up again. I don't know what the MIA rules are, but I'm sure if you get two technicals in a season, it's a, there's something. So Hillard with the ball, picks it out to 13. Again, taking some time off the shot clock away from Rockwood. Just some great defense. He's going to drive, and he's going to run over Doring. He's going to, Tamino's going to stand up, get that rebound anyway. And here we go, Tamino looking long. So a minute into this game, nobody's, or this overtime, nobody's been able to get a basket. Over to Odoi. Odoi drives, Cook's going to go to Tamino, but he doesn't. Again, looking inside, but there's nothing there. Kicks it out, over ball again, is going to drive, kicks Good it over pass. to Max. Great pass to Max, great Good play. Pass. So 35 over committed on defense, and Max got one. Tamino again pressuring 13, again taking time off of that clock. Jim is alive all of a sudden. Again, a lot People of pushing here. and showing. Doring is actually playing man-to-man -man on 35. McKenzie is uh, switched off him. And there's a good little move on the inside. So on defense, we now have Doring on 35, and uh, and Odoi switched over to 21, which probably makes sense. Well, Max almost wanted to take that. Felt better of it. Tamino fouled. Nothing called. A little frustrating. He's got to pass it somewhere, and he does. And he's Odoi with a hot hand. Odoi's feeling it. Get him the ball. Get him the ball. I like this Tamino overball combination on the court, because I think the two of them really frustrate the yep. other team's guards. Switch off, and they're looking good. Fresh. Medoy staying on 21 on man to man. 35 back down. Doring does a little scoop, but doesn't. Didn't have anything there. Didn't have anything. Yeah, Assistant coach Triton telling Triton, Triton to slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. A two point lead with a minute and a half to play. Max is going to go, and he's going to get oh, no shot. On the floor, on the floor. No shot on the floor. That's all right. He's going to the line. He's going to the line. He's shooting one on one. 55. Yep. 55. Is he out? He might be out. Nah, if he's not out, it's no. close. He had the first foul of the game. That's the only reason I know that. They have all their size on the floor right now, so if anyone, any one of those four fouls out, they're going to be getting smaller and smaller as the night goes on. Max misses the first end of it. Odoi with the rebound. Again, only it's only back to fast Max. Hard. The kid's got one speed. Great dribbling by Max, and he somehow gets away with it and almost gets it in. Another boy. 
don't know how in the world wow. Adoy wasn't fouled anywhere there. Somehow Adoy's hustle is unreal. Oh, that had to be a foul. Oh, he called the timeout. We got a timeout. Wow. Ooh, that kick 30 got away with one. Mm. Triton ball under the basket. A minute to go in this ha in this overtime. <laughs> the first overtime. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. Yeah. The way these things have gone. Timeout or uh, timeout for Triton. Two minute lead. One minute in the game. And they're gonna go with um, Odoi, Mackenzie, Overbaugh, Tamino, and uh, Mason. And Mason. It's the hands team out there. That's the hands team. That's you gotta sure. get a good shot off. Um, they've been looking good. Uh, again, Odoi not only hitting the shots, but but that play underneath. Oh my God! Um, the rebounds and the steals, are and just playing playing James big James. Off, big on the offensive boards against a team that is is a, a lot, lot taller, bigger, a yeah. lot bigger, a lot bigger. It's one of those things like Rockport for years hasn't been that good, but no. right now they happen to have you know a they bunch right of class. seniors yeah. that are, are the right height for basketball. They're making something happen. Maybe it's the five captains. Who knows? Maybe having five captains doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a different approach. It's a strategy I've that. not seen before. <laughs> see how it works for them. Got it. All right, here we go. Tamino to inbound. I told you he's on the court. Mason's going to be the one that comes around and gets his pass. Still got 22 nope. seconds. Nope. Of shot. Go all the way out to TJ. TJ to Odoi. Tamino, who has not been hot tonight and isn't hot on that one, with a little spin move and he gets fouled. It's fouled on his way up. Nice. Great little move by Max. Way to go strong in that paint. And now 35, 21, and 55 for Rockport are feeling it. You know? Mm -hmm. They're getting beat inside. This yeah. has been down on this end of the court for now for a, a long, long time. time. And it's because they can't get a hand of the ball, a hold of the ball. Oh. So Doring back in, probably to play defense man to man on uh, 35 again. He's got to hit this, make this a three-point game, and he does. And now they're going to drop. Shot. Nope, they're going to go into a press. No, man-to-man. -man. They're just playing a full-court man-to-man. 13's going to get the ball. Doring, Doring's task was just sticking all over 35. And, and Odoi is frustrating the heck out of 21, which is what he's got to do. 35 way outside. He took a three on their, one of their last possessions and went nowhere. 13 with the ball again. There's a screen, and he's open, but he's not going to get a very good look at it. And Max with a big rebound. Do something smart with it, Max. Get rid of that ball. There you go. TJ overball now. He's going to screen down the court. He's going to get fouled by 13. They had to foul. They didn't yeah. have a choice. Austin Matus. Been calling his number all night. He probably should have learned his name early. So we're back at the line for Triton. After talking about how they couldn't get the other team in foul trouble, they've actually been at the line an awful lot. Yeah, he's shooting two now. I know he says nine, but I think it's ten. And Overball short arms the first one. I can see his father over there. Not happy with that. All right, Overball, make the second one, making a nice four-point game, right? And he's short-armed it again, and it's going to drop out. Odoi right on top of him, almost forces the turnover. We've got 15 seconds left in this game. It's a three-point game. Timeout, Rockport. He was screaming timeout before his kid even got over half court. It's not like the NBA. You don't get to advance just because you call a timeout. you got to earn every one of those 82 feet in high school, not in the NBA. Ah, crazy. Three-point game. So what are you calling up on defense? You're not fouling because it sends him to the line, No, right? you don't. You definitely um, you go to you stay in that man-to-man, -man, see if they can take out, see if they can hit outside shots. They haven't been shooting at all tonight, so you might as well test them. But I mean, yeah, they, yeah, and they're down three. They might go for a quick three, tie it up. So yeah, I go, I, I, I go into man-to-man. -man. I think the way that Rockport has played on on defense, pressuring the ball, I don't think there's any way they're going to go with go for two and try no. and then get another no, no, possession. No, no, no. They know they're, they're not yeah. going to get that steal from Trite. So I say so go they to have man. To go, they have to go to three. Just it, okay. The only thing is you can't foul the shooter no matter what. Right. Someone's going to shoot. Whoever it is, just don't foul them. Um, the only problems they've had with man is down low, but yeah. by they're the score, they're not going to go down low. Yep. So they might as well. And they're athletic. Yeah. They're quick. They can get around screen, screen. So I think they should uh, play straight up man here. And the, ball's coming, the ball's coming from the outside. 
it's not under the basket, so it's not like they're going to have a chance to see the whole court and set it up. They got to come. In. I think inbounding the ball from the side is harder than inbounding the ball from underneath because yeah, the floor simply looks different. Right. You're turned away. You're turned away. From the turned away from the basket. So they're going to bring it out to most likely out to 13, way past half court. Made us right. Made us. And they're going to go out to him with only 14 seconds now, 13 seconds on the clock. He's going to drive against Tamino. He's got to look for somebody. It's 35. That's their best player, but he's not going to get a shot off. 21 is going to almost lose control. No foul. Bounces, and it's going to be ball game. Triton, Triton with a win. Triton absolutely wow. steals a win. Down five with 19 seconds left, and they didn't have the Unreal. ball. They force an overtime on Kyle O'Doy's back-to-back -back threes. And then in the, in the overtime itself, unbelievable. I'm going to go so interview Odoi right now. We're going to go interview Odoi. Um, absolutely phenomenal game by the Triton Vikings. They absolutely stayed in it. They were up eight early in the third quarter. Managed to uh, lose that lead twice in the second half. But now we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to Owen, and he's going to talk to uh, Kyle Odoi on camera as soon as we can get that set up and talk about hitting those those back to back. Back-to-back three-pointers. He was Kyle O'Doy was coming up here. He thought we were doing the interview here, but we'll do it from Owen on the court. He's getting a lot of congratulations. Here we go. So Triton just got a big win over Rockport. We're here with Kyle O'Doy, uh, man of the game. Hit two threes late. Um, so what worked tonight for you guys? Um, I mean, pretty much everything. We just missed a lot of shots on offense, but we, you know, we stayed positive, mm -hmm. which would help helped us down the down the stretch there. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we rotated well on defense. Times they got into that big man, and they scored. Mm -hmm. um, we kept our heads in a few couple in a couple situations. We had a, a couple technical fouls, so that mm -hmm. really helped us down there. And I mean, we just. We just work, man, and that, that's what got us the win. Was anything uh, called on the last couple of plays for you? Were you drawn up for, to, to, to take the shot, or was that no, just sort of how it happened? That's just, that's just pretty much how it Knocked happened. Knocked down the shots. All right, good. The and shot. then, um, how, so how's Surrender? How's the new coach been doing? How's it? How's it been working with you guys? Um, I love him. He's a great yeah. coach. Yeah. Um, Perry was a great coach. He's a great coach. He brings energy. He always pushes us. You know, he's definitely a different coach. Different mm -hmm. coach style. Sure. But uh, yeah, he's a great coach. We're having a great season so far, and I'm, good to hear. I'm hoping he's staying for four, a few more good years. Good to hear. Yeah. And how's your injury? You feeling good? You feeling yeah. back? Yeah, back to 100%. I mean, after those two shots, it looks I know. Yeah, good. we're good. We're well, good. congratulations right, on the win. Going. Good game. Good seeing you. Good seeing you too. And we'll send it back up to my dad at the booth. Excellent. So a three-point uh, overtime win for the Triton Vikings tonight over Rockport. Absolutely a fantastic way to start off this season uh, with VTV and basketball. Uh, we'll be back for a few more games, including some varsity girls games this year. And then on uh, January 25th, big game, rivalry against Newburyport. We'll get to see the, the Triton Vikings boys varsity and girls varsity back-to-back -back games. Absolutely fantastic. Nice wow. job, Owen. Wow. Thanks for being in the booth. Uh, your good you luck. So you're going to have to skip the second half of uh, – your second semester of college to come back and just watch this game. games like that, I don't mind. Absolutely don't fantastic. Mind. Well, thanks very much. This yeah, was a lot of fun. Lot Great of fun. win for Triton, and we'll see you as soon as we see you again. Good.